the new CBSL Act makes it extremely difficult for the central bank to undertake the most invidious form of deficit financing. Um, um, that is purchasing uh, the government's paper, purchasing treasury bills in the primary auction. That has been made much more difficult and the new act specifies very special circumstances, exceptional circumstances, like say the pandemic, where the central bank can assist the government by participating in the primary auction. And even that has to be passed by parliament now. Of course, laws mean nothing unless they are implemented effectively. So it is to be seen whether we implement the Anti-Corruption Act, which is better aligned with the UN Convention on Corruption, whether this law is implemented. We've had 16 IMF programs before the current one. On each of those, or on many of them, we did make progress on stabilization as we have done on this one. But as soon as an election approached, the progress that was made was reversed. We are supposed to be having elections next year. We must not allow the gains that we've made to be reversed through policy slippage. And one thing I must say is this time around, if we allow election, elections to distract us from the path of stabilization and recovery and then sustain growth, the crisis that will hit us will be worse than anything that we've had in the past. It will be worse than what we had uh, some 18 months ago. So we should remember that. We need to change the mold whereby economics is not undermined seriously by the, uh, the electoral calendar. That has to change. If it doesn't, we will lose what we have gained so far and the consequences will be far worse than we've ever experienced in the past.